Coming up tonight on Bus News. We'll be having a look at Bright Bus Tour's new Airport Express service. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Mortimer here. We're finally in 2024. Thank God 2023 is over because quite frankly, that was not the most pleasant year. Uh, it is currently New Year's Day uh, and I am sat outside Haymarket train station uh, as I am about to uh, go on the new service McGill's are operating between the city centre and the airport. So let's jump to it. I'm not the most excited about this bus route. I'm going to be it's real because it's allocations aren't very good. It's on Enviro 300, which I'm excited to at least see what it's like, but I think it's got quite a few flaws. It operates every 15 minutes between Waterloo Place and Edinburgh Airport, which is a good thing because it means that uh, people coming out of Waverley who need to go to the airport, let's say people who stay in East Linton, uh, they can just get out the station, take a bus there every 15 minutes. Granted, it's not like the uh, the Airlink 100 from Lothian, which runs every 20 minutes throughout the night, which I find insane. But uh, still fairly frequent up until then. It's every half hour until about midnight. So I um, think it's a pretty good option, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I think about seven minutes until it arrives. So I'm gonna have my lunch and then I'm gonna get on the bus. We've really gone all out with branding on the inside. Okay, so a few things I've noticed. Uh, first off is the side seats you normally get on uh, Enviro 300 behind the driver's cabin have been removed and replaced with an absolutely tiny luggage rack, which I think if you're operating an airport service, sure you've got to be able to hold quite a lot of people, but people also have to be able to hold their luggage, right? Next up is uh, the stopping pattern on these buses. Uh, what I've noticed is that uh, they don't actually serve the airport hotel. Uh, once you leave the airport, it's basically non-stop to end resume, which I think is a bit of a baffling design choice, honestly, because uh, like people uh, coming from the airport, uh, they're probably going to be coming from the airport hotels. So that's one thing that the Air, the, the Air Link 100 does, right, that this bus hat doesn't do. Another thing I've noticed is that you can get quite a lot of discounts at multiple different places in the city. If you use your uh, bus ticket you get from on this bus, which I think is a smart idea, honestly. I'm surprised that Lothian haven't embraced that, uh, so yeah. I don't have the time to read through all of these, but if you want to have a look, uh, pause the video by all means, have a look, I think it's quite interesting. Another thing I've noticed is that uh, this bus in total takes 29 minutes, whereas the Airlink takes 31, and uh, the tram takes 36 minutes uh, to do the entire route to the city centre, so... I think that's quite surprising. Granted, this bus does skip out on pretty much all the stops between the airport and the city, so that's quite a large chunk of the route. Another thing I've noticed is that while the child ticket is the same price as on Airlink, uh, this bus is four pounds for a single ticket, six pound fifty for a return, compared to five pound fifty for a single and eight pound return on the Airlink. So definitely. It's uh, quite a bit cheaper, so uh, uh, thankfully I've got my bus pass, so I don't have to worry about any of this. Just about at the airport now, uh, we should be arriving at the stop in like five minutes. I've relocated to the buggy bay so I can record the journey on my camera, so uh, that should be fun. Uh, very busy already, compared to me being the only passenger on board uh, when we were heading to the airport. We're off. <laughs> So one thing I've noticed is that uh, they're definitely stocking up on the Bright Bus information leaflets as there's four racks all just with the uh, leaflets about the tours and whatnot. Uh, so if you need all your information, just look at that. You should be good. 
that's us on Glasgow Road now. Uh, we are now going back into Edinburgh. I well, know we're still technically in Edinburgh, but it, it doesn't feel like Edinburgh. But we're just about back in the, into like the proper city now. Uh, we're kind of close to the Isle. Granted, we won't be stopping there. The next stop's Edinburgh Zoo. I still can't believe we don't stop at the airport hotels. Sombre now, uh, we're currently uh, going down, uh, we're nearly at the zoo now, so we'll see if anyone else attempts to board or if we'll just go straight past, uh, we shall see, uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see if more passengers get on or not though. So we're just past Roseburn now, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how many people are going to get off where between Haymarket and Waterloo Place. Uh, I'm thinking most people are probably going to get off at either Princess Street West or uh, Waverly Steps, but uh, we shall see. Back at Haymarket again, uh, I'm going to be staying on for another 10 minutes until the terminus though, and I'll get my reviews there. So we're currently running about uh, two minutes behind schedule, but I think that's alright because uh, it's 15 minutes terminus either end, so I think it should be fine. Now Waverly and I'm the only passenger on board. Alright, thanks very much. Have a good day. Okay, my thoughts. I am recording this the day after at half 10 p.m., so quite a bit later than I should normally be awake. Uh, I'm extremely exhausted, but I've just been editing for the past, like, six hours, so... I'm gonna be honest, uh, my initial thoughts on this service were more or less fairly accurate. It, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it's still not the greatest experience. I'd happily choose Airlink over the, uh, this service. Uh, if anything, I'd much prefer the tram, because I enjoy the experience of being on a tram. Granted, they're not so reliable. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be real, uh, it's just not, it's just too bumpy, I think, because, sure, it's Euro 6 standards, but it's just, I don't like the Enviro 300s, and it just made the whole ride a lot more unpleasant, and, uh, it was quite busy, sure, I think gets quite busy, and the trams get absolutely packed at times, but, like, it was kind of like a whole nother level of uh, busy, I think, just for the fact that it was a single decker with lots of people talking about holiday stuff and whatever. And they weren't letting anyone stand for some reason. Well, I didn't exactly understand why, but uh, I'm not going to question it. I should probably state that uh, they were asking if there was enough capacity, uh, and they said barely when there was one seat left. So I think people could have been standing, but they weren't letting people stand. So, As for the actual route itself, I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, there were, are a few things here and there I'm not the biggest fan of, notably the fact that... Uh, it doesn't serve the airport hotels, which I think is what the hell are you doing? A few choices along the route I find quite questionable, such as the fact that it doesn't stop at the airport hotels, or in any matter of fact, uh, it doesn't stop anywhere between the airport itself and the zoo. Uh, I find it weird that it stops at Ormadale ter Terrace, but not Roseburn Gardens. I find that Roseburn Gardens is probably the more, like, like, probably efficient stop to stop at, personally. I think making it terminate at Waterloo Place is a good move, because not only is it under Bright Bus Tours, so it means that once it gets to Waterloo Place, uh, passengers can just exchange onto one of the tours. But also, because of that, they have the excuse to get it to stop outside Waverley Station, so people coming from, like, Tweed Bank or Dunbar by train... Arriving at Waverley Station, they just have to go up Waverley Steps and wait for a bus to the airport if they're flying to, I don't know, Portugal. Okay, so if we consider that the trams are probably a good 7 out of 10, and the airlinks are good 6 out of 10, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is probably only about, like, 4.5, 4 out of 10. So, it's... My least favourite of the three airport routes. I just realised it's now 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go to bed night-night.
Don't forget to like and subscribe.